All right. Gosh, I need a new idea for a video. Oh, okay. What's this? This is a nice shape. I think I have an idea. Okay. okay. Just, ooh, oh, it moves. Okay. No, don't do it, Nick. No, you're better than that. It's public property. Don't steal. Just keep going. Forget about it. You're better than that. You'll think of something else. You've got lots of ideas. You're an idea man. You're an idea man, damn it. Today, we're going to make a side table using a totally not stolen parking bullard. Let's get started. Okay, so I found the, what I believe to be the center of this domey part. If you're wondering how I got the center, I eyeballed it. Now I'm center punching it. And now I need to find out what drill bit in here is gonna help me do this. Well, one inch is probably too big, right? Way too big. So it must be three quarters. Must be three quarters. Oh, I think this is three quarter inch pipe, so that would make sense. Oh, gold. Okay, I'm gonna try and keep this very straight. There's a hole. Are you picking up on this? Look, I am your father. Actually, I feel like I sound more like the other guy. I'm General Palpatine. All right, now that we have our center hole drilled, I need to cut this to length. I know that I want this table to sit roughly around 22 inches tall. Um, I picked that number you know, using math and, and other uh, very uh, reliable sources. Mmm, this beverage is, is quite delicious. Mmm, let me just put it down on this beautiful end table. Boom, about right there. Ooh, 22 inches. Okay. So, so yeah, let's just cut it, let's cut it shorter. Oh, there's yellow dust everywhere. Noise! Theoretically. In this moment, he realized that it was not going to be as simple as he once imagined. It would take this man nearly half an hour to secure a simple pipe into a hole he drilled into a plastic tube. Hmm. New game plan. Put this in the middle so I can have pre judge these here. Alright, I think this is gonna work. Winging it at this point, but sometimes you just gotta send it. Time to mix up some crate. I hope this is enough concrete. Oh Christ, 
bit savvy. I'm gonna call that good. Honestly, we're looking pretty freaking level, you guys. I'm pretty damn impressed with myself. Cool, throw a little bag on top and uh, leave it for an eternity. It's been, I think a couple weeks at this point. This thing is definitely dry. I flipped it over already. But the issue is, is that I, I, I screwed this top in so that it would self seal. So I think what I'm gonna need to do is cut that off and then hopefully it'll release it. <laughs> I can't even pick this up. didn't work. All right. This is what it's come to. Uh, very difficult. Oh. <laughs> okay. There she blows. Now that we have that, I need to cut out the base plate and the top mount, which I'm gonna cut out of this brass. I think I want this to be, honestly, as big as, as wide as it can go, I think will look the best. All right, so I found this pot. It's almost the width of it, so I'm just gonna use this pot. There's the two pieces we need to cut out. All right, now I got my circle cut out. I need to find the center of it because it's, Probably not perfect. And I saw a little trick on the internet. Just make a few different marks, eight inch mark. There's the center of that one. Make another eight inch mark. And then I'll make another one up here. Okay, so previous Nick did a terrible job explaining this. So um, you have your circle to find the center. One trick is to um, take your square, that's what I'm using. Um, and you make it so that the start is at the very edge of the circle and then you just bring this up and say I'm gonna go to five inches all right then there you go you have your line you draw a line and you know that two and a half is half of five so there's that line so what you do is you keep keeping your um, square on that line you move it to that center mark and you just draw a line through the center of it you do this a couple more times and you can move it wherever you don't have to be corner to corner you can do it anywhere you want on the circle as long as you know that you're going to get the very center of that line you just marked so i'm going to do five again i'll mark two and a half line that up make sure it's straight with that line so that way it's going straight there's that line even to prove my point i'll make a big one. We'll go, we'll go six on this one. So here's six inches, three, and then again, line up three, line up that edge. Boom. There's your center of your circle and you can just do whatever lines you want because half of this line edge to edge will always lead directly to the very center of the circle. So I thought that was a cool little tool. Hope that helps. So I need my center punch and now I can put it in the center. There's my center mark. I know this thing is seven and an eighth inch wide, three and a half for seven. And I'm just gonna make it seven because I want it'll be the exact size. That is where this guy's gonna go. So let's make sure that that worked. And that looks freaking perfect. So now what I have to do is, you can see there's a lot of wobble on this thing. The rocks on the bottom uh, didn't quite sink in perfectly flat. So I need to take down those high points so it seats nice and flat.
Okay, I've got the board leveled. So now I'm just taking some scotch bright and kind of trying to make a semi-consistent, I don't know, sheen, I guess. I think that is gonna do it for us. Paper towel. I got alcohol here. We're going to thoroughly wipe this thing down. While that evaporates, we're gonna mix up our epoxy to mount that to that. Honestly, I'm probably gonna use a majority of this, so let's just freaking pump it all in there. 20 seconds on the clock. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, 18 Mississippi, 19 Mississippi, 20 Mississippis. Okay, freaking get on there, baby. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I'm getting wild, okay. So the faster the better, the faster the better. I'm gonna take my big old hunker clunker. Ugh, okay. All right. Circle motion. Boom. Boom, okay. Oh yeah. It's on there. This thing weighs a lot, so I'm not worried about clamping it down. Okay, now that we have the base, Fix to the top, we can affix the plate, but I think that this has gotten off a little bit. There we go. That's pretty good. Now that that is level, we need to find center on this guy. We're gonna use the same method and there's the center and now i need to solder this and this is going to be a learning experience for us all it is time i think the first thing we need to do is sand this down because we want a good adhesion for the solder right how this works from what i understand is we're going to put some of this down this is kind of like a, a goopy substance i am just going to apply it to that whole ring because i think we want a decent amount of this stuff so that is centered up. Now what we do is take our flux. I'm gonna give myself some distance because I don't want to get boinked. We're gonna take this torch. We're gonna heat it up till the solder starts fizzing, basically. And then we're gonna apply our flux and that should, in theory, weld it together. Is it pretty? No. <laughs> Is it gonna work? Maybe. I feel like I could get it off this easier, maybe. It's probably not even a little bit level, is it? Oh Lord, it's not, okay. Oh, it's working. Hey, 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 that looks good. There we go. There's our piece. Let's do the final test, see if it fits. There we go. Is that it? There it is. Boom. <laughs> That's sturdy. I think it's good. All right, well, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Nick, you forgot to show us the whole step on how you mounted the glass to the brass plate. Um, well, the truth is, is I actually don't have an answer for that. <laughs> um, I had a few ideas, you know, using double-sided clear tape. Uh, I couldn't find any that was wide enough. I tried using clear glue, um, but then once I applied pressure, it created these kind of strange air bubble striations. Um, but then I kind of came to the conclusion that um, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. <laughs> and that's okay. 
um, because I have a whole community of people who also like to make stuff um, that might have answers for me. Um, and so I've been postponing posting this video for a long time because I didn't have an answer to one of my problems. Um, but I think that that's silly and I think that that's not a good way to progress because the truth is is that I don't always know what I'm doing. Um, and I think that it's important to acknowledge that and ask for help when you need it. Um, but also not to let that be something that holds you back from finishing something. Um, obviously, you know, don't be stupid, don't do anything dangerous, but uh, if you don't know how to do something, you know, ask. And so this is me coming to you all for help. If any of you have any solutions for how to mount this glass to the brass plate, please leave a comment below. I'm all ears. Um, I'm open to any ideas. Um, I would greatly appreciate it because I would love to actually start using this end table. <laughs> Um, I think that it's really important to ask for help when you need it and it is okay not to always have all of the answers. Um, so with that, I hope you enjoyed the video and the 90% completed project. <laughs> um, and yeah, please leave a comment below if you have any ideas of how um, I can get around the issue and solve that problem. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, but besides that, I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.